Hello, my name is Sean Reed Price. I am a 6'2 mental projector, a role model hermit on the left angle cross of the alpha. I, uh, I have one channel. It's the channel of awareness, design of a thinker. I just wanted to come on here and talk um, about Lavina and talk about iconic human design give a little testimonial about my experiences. Um, I am a IHDS certified living your design guide and I am in uh, professional analyst training currently. Um, I've been experimenting with human design for about four and a half years. I think it was uh, late 2019 that I came across the system. Um, my sister introduced me to the system and um, yeah, it just was really impactful. And and at that point, from that point on, I, I was studying for um, ever since, really. Um, it wasn't long after I found human design that I came across Lavina on YouTube and on Instagram. And it was funny because I remember when I was watching her YouTube thinking like, oh, I really want to learn from this person, but uh, it's never going to happen or whatever. And uh, it's funny because we ended up connecting through Instagram and then she recognized that I had, you know, some knowledge and, and potential aptitude to study the system. And so she invited me to, uh, to her classes and to uh, the certification programs. And it was just one thing after the other. And, you know, she really called me to, to it. And yeah, so it's it's been a really positive experience, you know. I'm I'm uh, I'm really working towards establishing myself in the human design um, greater human design community, and and it was Lavina that really helped me gather the courage to to do that, to pursue that, and with, also with the help of my family, you know, I'm lucky in that way, um, you know, to to be able to pursue this as a career path right and it's something i'm very passionate about so i feel lucky to to have that opportunity and to you know be working with such a great teacher and in such a great learning environment you know lavina really she sets herself apart from a lot of other teachers because you know she is someone who is living it you know she's practicing her human design and you can see it like you can see it on her face, you can see it in this, or you can hear it, in the sound of her voice. You know, if you look at old photos of her, I think she shared them before, and you look at new ones, you can see a change in, in her, her facial expression and the way she holds herself. And then you can hear it in the quality, the, the tone and the frequency of her voice, that there has been a transformation at the physical level, you know, and that she's someone who's, you know, as a creative role model, you know, embodying that. And uh, I think that's important to learn from people who have that frequency, you know, um, that are in alignment, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and, and, you know, she's someone who is very um, aligned with Ra's original vision and is, you know, she is passionate about teaching it according to Ra and the source and staying true to that, you know, honoring that and and having that integrity in that way. And that is something that is really valuable to me. You know, I am someone like, I really love listening to raw and I've learned a lot from just listening to raw. And, and I wouldn't be here working with Lavina if she wasn't, you know, true to that, to the source, right? So that is something that I think is valuable about her. But not only that, it's her approach to teaching. You know, she is someone who's very knowledgeable, right? She has a lot of certifications in human design, you know, and she applies that in, in the way that she creates the learning environment where she's going to treat you based on your type, your authority, your profile, and even on deeper levels, like your variable and your motivation and, and so on, you know, and it's really refreshing to be able to be in an environment where you can learn in that way, where it's a differentiated education system, which I think is going to be the future of where education will go, hopefully, you know, um, rather than the standard homogenized model public school system, 
whatever, which is something for me, I'm, I'm a quad right, you know, I really struggled with. And so it's been really refreshing to be in an environment where, you know, all you, there are different styles available of learning. You know, I'm a mental projector, I'm single definition, you know, I can study independently, uh, but also I'm quad right and I have a sounding board. So, you know, I can also attend classes and, and work one-on-one -on -one with other students and study groups and, you know, practicing and, um, and also have an opportunity to to share with the class, you know, and and you know she'll she'll give me that opportunity, call me out, and and ask for my objective wisdom as a role model, you know, all these things, and 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 pull out my depth as a right being, you know, and and that's something that is important for me to see, and and so it's great to have that facilitated by someone, you know, and she does that with her her, her students, you know, and her clients where she's looking at these deeper layers and, and really honoring and respecting, you know, bringing, like the way she engages with people is out of respect, you know, informing the manifestors, asking the generators, inviting, recognizing the projectors and so on, you know, and, and with the reflectors, you know, asking them to share their outer authority and their, their wisdom and, and their, you know, objective assessment of, of, you know, their experience and, and their communities and the program and, and all of that, you know, so, it's something that I see as very valuable and, and that Lavina is on the cutting edge of that sort of thing. And I think it's something that is needed. Um, what else? And yeah, Lavina is someone who has like a very good, what would you call it? Like a bedside manner, you know? She's someone who deals with delicate subjects very well and very compassionately and you know, you're never made to feel wrong or guilty or bad for like being conditioned or whatever. It's like, you know, oh, you're not self. It's not like that. Like, you know, I, I get, I have moments where like Lavina's voice will pop in my head where I'm, I'm experiencing something, I'm getting down on myself or whatever. And, and then I hear Lavina's voice say like, you know, um, it's, you know, if the thought, it, it, the thought you think that makes you shrink is not a true thought, you know, and these little things, these little tidbits or nuggets of wisdom pop in my head. And it's, it's helpful for me to remember. And then, you know, she's someone who is always uh, guiding us back to our strategy, our authority, our type, all of these things. And, and not only that, but respecting that we are our own authorities. You know, I've never felt pressured into a decision you know, me and her are aligned in a certain way because she's emotional and she has her emotional process and I'm a mental projector and I have my sounding board process. And, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm always given time uh, to process and, and the freedom to say no, you know, which, which is important to me. I mean, I have the 53rd uh, gate in my design. I, I value freedom, you know, and uh, I don't like control, you know, um, and I don't ever feel pressured to, to be a certain way except myself, you know, and that's not even, if there is pressure because she's a defined root, you know, it's healthy for me, at least the interaction is because it's correct, you know, so yeah, I think that that's, that's really nice to be in an environment like that, right, where, where because you, human design, it's it's not all roses and butterflies and rainbows. It's it's hard and and it's deep and there's wounds and pain and you know and being able to be delicate in the face of some of that stuff and have compassion for people and you know and understand like and listen right and and learn from people too. You know I can look at her chart and see there's an open head and Ajna and I can see her living in alignment with that and, and the wisdom coming out through that. And she's not someone who's argumentative or is like trying to like think that she knows better than anyone or, the, or better than you, you know, she is very knowledgeable, but, but we all have our own experience. And she's always asking that, like, what is your experience? Like, I'm curious to know, because, you know, we're, you know, everyone is, their own authority on their own experience, right? And that's what this system is all about, is that is being unique, you know? And so, yeah, it's it's been 
it's been an interesting ride to be a part of something like this, you know, and, and to watch her process as a teacher and to watch, you know, the people, uh, the other students and to learn from that. So, yeah, I think that that's, that's all I have to say.